Interoperability is pretty straightforward. It means when required, two organisations from two different countries can practically operate together. Great Britain is our strongest ally. Forged out of warfare uh, during World War I and World War II. You know, we've had pretty much the same sort of history all the way since the 82nd change to being the 82nd Airborne and the origins certainly of uh, the parachute regiment that we're a part of. These are, you know, what you should, what you say, see as your brothers when you see them around the world. This battalion, my own battalion, has done four combat jumps in its history. Three of those have all been out of American aircraft. I am honoured and delighted by the challenge of continuing our shared history. It isn't good enough to wait to find out who your partners will be and then try and solve some of the problems when you might have a couple of days before the mission starts. We've got to front load all that and work out how we do it before we know what the mission is. Our future fight will be multinational. There's no question about it. Not only with the UK, but likely with other partners. Two heads of the, each army signed a document uh, over a year ago now uh, asking us to make the two armies more interoperable. This month's combined joint operational access exercise is the largest multinational airborne operation occurring on Fort Bragg in the last 19 years. Our goal is five years from now to reach what we believe is our interoperability end state, and that is that 16th Air Assault Brigade seamlessly fits as a subordinate brigade under the 82nd Airborne Division Headquarters. Should the heads of our armies, our services, require the UK and the US high readiness formations to operate together, this programme will ensure that the answer to that question is a resounding yes.